My name is Scott Heron. Welcome to this video. We're going to be talking about the second study on the grade one cello exam by Trinity, which is called Nursery Slopes. So this is a really lovely study. Why is it called Nursery Slopes? Well, I don't know, but to me it sounds a little bit like a nursery rhyme. And the one that goes through my head is Pop Goes the Weasel, which has a slightly different rhythm and is twice as fast. So this is like a slow, Pop Goes the Weasel, which will be a... That, like, it sounds like that, doesn't it? But half as slow. Like that. It deals with mixed articulation and bowing styles. Mm. So, well, well, let's deal with the articulation first. So, you might have noticed at the beginning, I played the notes short. So the fancy Italian word for that is staccato. Can you say that in an Italian accent? Staccato. Yes. So you can ha you can ask uh, the man at the pizza shop for a pepperoni pizza with pineapple and staccato. No, maybe don't. I'm only joking. But it is Italian. So how do you play staccato? You just press into the string with your bow like that, and then you release. So you get a little bit of a bite. So it's nice and articulate. Uh, and the other thing is that you make sure that it's short and detached. Mm, it's detached. So, uh, and after you play one note, in the, in the gap, you put your bow back down. And then you release. Put your bow down in the gap. And then, you see what I mean? So, that sort of effect there. Um, now that also happens in bar five. It also happens in bar three, but there is a, a little tricksy bit here. Watch out for the hooked bowings. Ooh, da da da. They're nasty. So here you, you have the same notes as bar one, but you're playing them two downs and then two up. So uh, like that, rather than, do you remember we did it like that? Bar one, but now it's gonna be a, so make sure they sound the same. Make sure they're they're still short. You know, if somebody had a blindfold on and they couldn't tell what bowing you were doing, doing, they shouldn't be able to hear a difference between the articulation of, of both of those. So just start in the down bow, take a little stop. So in that gap, stop your bow and then again, then there's another one, then we're gonna change it up, bow press, release, then press, release. So try and do that a bit faster. So practice that, that little bowing a lot to get that into your bowing arm um, and try and make that uh, absolutely automatic so you don't need to think about it anymore. Just through constant correct repetition. Now, what are the other issues in this piece? Well, we were talking about articulation. Watch out for the slur. So in bar two, you have a slur. In bar six, you have a slur. So uh, notice how much bow I use there. And try and make it as smooth as a Cadbury's caramel. So look, I'm preparing the A and then I'm preparing the D with my arm. So while I'm playing on the D string, I'm already moving my arm to the A string. And the A, I'm already moving my bow down to the D string. Like that. So that's what I mean by preparing. What about the dynamics? Well, you start a piano, so that's just soft, isn't it? And then I, in bar six, there's a crescendo followed by a diminuendo. I really like that bar. It's quietly. And then quiet again. So it's just a little swell. It's just, it's quite gentle. It doesn't need to be a big tidal wave or too dramatic, just nice and gentle. It's just, it's, remember it's a nursery slope, isn't it? So it's a little nursery rhyme. So maybe you're singing this to little baby. So you don't want to do anything that's going to wake the little baby up. And probably the um, last thing that I would say about this piece is watch out for the tuning of the last note. So you have an, a low D going to a high D. So make sure that that top D is banging tune. There it is there with the, with the bottom D. Because if they're not, it's going to be awful. That was slightly flat, but it just spoils it. It's better, isn't it? So you want to finish on the right note. 
So tuning's dead important. I make it quite cheeky. You know, lift that up into the string, up into the air, like that, and smile. Like that. Try and lift it up into the air. So all that remains to be said is have fun with this piece. I, I really like it. My students really, really like it. And um, ace that exam. And cheerio until the next video.